How's it going? David Crammel here with FL Studio School, and I wanted to play a song for you. I, I wrote it, and I think think you'll like it very, very much. Here we go. Here we go. Did you like it? Wrote it all by myself. No, I'm obviously kidding, but I played that using a keyboard, not my keyboard that I type on, like I mentioned in my last MIDI tutorial. This one's actually an actual MIDI keyboard. It's a an old Casio WK1630. Uh, my parents bought it for me when I was about 12 for Christmas, and they bought it from JCPenney. Now, that's not really relevant to this video, but I'm using my Tascam interface, which has a MIDI interface built into it, to play my keyboard and have the sound come out on this FL Keys thing. So there you go. A lot of you guys, I know, want to know how to do this, so I'm going to show you how. Basically, if we go to Options and MIDI Settings, now we can see that our MIDI controller is plugged in. If your device isn't in either of the input or output boxes here, probably means that it's not plugged in or the drivers aren't installed or something. It has to do with your drivers. If your drivers are installed properly, it should pull up here. Now, the main thing you need to worry about right now is the input because this is going to allow you to control this stuff over here. So, if your device isn't here, just say rescan MIDI devices and it might pull up. And if it does, congratulations. Then select the device and just enable it. And that's it. Now, you should be able to play on your keyboard. Now, if you're using an old keyboard like mine, you'll have to set the MIDI up on the keyboard as well to send MIDI signal. Like for this, if I were to unplug this keyboard and then plug it back in, it's not going to be sending MIDI anymore. I'd have to tell it to send MIDI signal again. So be sure you do that. I'm sure that's a problem that a lot of people have. But if you're using just a standard USB MIDI keyboard or something like that, shouldn't have any problems, just plug it in, do what I just showed you, and you'll be all set. Now you can play songs like the one that I wrote here. Uh, I'll go ahead and play it for you guys. It's This is like the best song I ever wrote. Here we go. Oops. Okay, well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope it helps you guys out and gets you going, getting started, and playing music on your keyboard. It's pretty easy to set up. My name is David Crandall. This is the FL Studio School channel, and I hope you were at least entertained by this tutorial. Um, please subscribe. Check out our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash School. Share videos with your friends, uh, future producers and music makers, because they may find these videos helpful. And again, please subscribe. We're always doing stuff about FL Studio and things that aren't necessarily FL Studio specific, like music and live sound and gear upgrades and a lot of dot da all that kind of fun stuff. So whether or not you use FL Studio, this is a great channel to subscribe to if you make music. So. My name is David Crandall, this is the FL Studio School, and until next time, have fun making music.